going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. This is the second half. Uh, you, if you tuned in for the first one, I will tell you, it is amazing, powerful testimony that will set you free and set others free that you know that may be in this same position in life. And Isaiah in the Jose, Jose, how come I can't in a in, Hosa? In a Hosa. In a Hosa. And a Hosa. I don't know why I said it great the first few yeah. times and then I couldn't get it. I'm going to call him Isaiah. You know? And anyways, we're so glad you joined us. Get your favorite drink. Join us around the table. You do not want to miss one second of the rest of this story. And while we're going through, call the prayer lines, especially if you're going through any kind of uh, demon activity, demon possession, uh, bipolar, uh, if they've you know labeled you that. There's no such mm -hmm. thing as demon activity. I'm telling you what, they just want to medicate everybody and do everything and mess you up even more. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you have to take a medication, please don't feel guilty. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not coming against that either because I don't want you to stop your medication and then go freak out. So, anyways, we're going to start with, uh, but please, I, I forgot, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729, periodically across the bottom of the screen, full shot, always behind my head, and you can call and be safe, and we'll pray for you. We won't solicit you. We just want to see God move in your life in a powerful way, okay? I'm Charlene back to Miriam, your God's View host. We have Stephanie Besh. We have Priscilla Pruitt. We have Lana Garner, and help us welcome our very special guest back, Isaiah! Yay! 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 I got it. I got it because I was doing a high five. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. I'll tell you, you can, um, we're going to recap. You, st you stopped with, wow, some powerful stuff. Yeah. And you were going to just kind of go into that recap and then uh, tell us about how you got saved. Yeah. Or whatever, whatever God wants. I don't want, listen, we're, we're, you, if you want to talk about that the whole time, we want to yeah. do what the Holy Spirit yeah. wants. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, exactly. you know, yes. I mean, go for it. So, uh, like I was sharing on the last episode, um, her aunt ended up interfering and oh, yeah. I ended up, you know, getting thrown back. I didn't understand what it was at that time, but the Lord revealed that it was the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you know, for the people that when, when I, I had almost killed my girlfriend at the time and as I was choking her, her aunt came in and basically stood in the gap. She'd even touched me. She was just willing to take her place. And when that happened, I just got thrown back. Yeah, because you told her, I'll kill yeah. you. And yeah. she says, well, I'll die, but you're not going to hurt yeah. her. But exactly. she was a believer as well. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And so That's I cool. ended up going on a rampage for two weeks. I just, it was a blur. You know, wow. uh, my girlfriend said I came back home one night. I had almost ran somebody over that I got into it with. I oh, literally Lord drove Jesus. my car into a crowd of people and nobody got hit. It was a miracle. That's like, the grace of God. I, and my buddy, wow. one of my best friends who I've known since I was five years old, he told me later, he's like, dude, you almost hit me too. Like, and he's like, there was people running in front of your truck. And then like, I don't know how you didn't hit nobody. Like it was a miracle, oh, wow. you know, Thank you, Jesus. but I came home that night and, uh, to visit, to grab some clothes because we weren't, we had split up. She threw me out. And she said, I was just laughing and just high off of the thrill of almost taking somebody's life, yeah. you know, and that's not normal. It was demonic. Were you, know? you under any alcoholic yeah. or any kind of... Not at that time. No. You know, it was okay. getting to the point where for me to go into a full-blown rage like that, I would have to usually be on right. something, but it was getting to the point where I was staying like that even wow. when I was sober, oh, you know. Jesus. And, um, it was just demonic possession. Yeah. Mm. And... Uh, so Ooh. that happened and I called her and I was like, I'm gonna end up dead or, or in prison. I feel it, my time's running up, you know? And uh, there was just a convolution of, of, of things because like you were asking earlier about when I ended up prophesying over people, it's, there was so much uh, mixture with yes. the Roman mixture. Catholic faith and, you know, it's devil worshiping yeah. and it was all blending into mm -hmm. one you know because there's times i would pray yeah, to god there's times yeah. i would pray to the hail mary you know i just was looking for something you know <laughs> and even growing up mm -hmm. i i would try different places wow. i would go to the kingdom hall i tried mm -hmm. the book of mormon i tried reading the quran you know because i wanted lots of counterfeits yeah. out there to try yeah, exactly <laughs> and that's what something that would really 
mess with me is like yeah. there's so many religions out there which one's right. the right one you right know? Mm -hmm. and i would get mad at god he's like come on you can't tell me this is the only way you know and yeah. um and then i even got involved in a lot of good deeds you know we start mm -hmm. doing uh the optimist club i would start doing uh, the Knights of Columbus with the Catholic Church, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Habitat for Humanity, you know, free. because yeah. I, I thought, you know, okay, if I did enough good, good, good then yeah. good approval. Yeah. 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 it would overshadow right. the evil right. that I was, you know, right. and uh, it was just right. that monster yes. that I was trying to contain, right. you know, right. and it, it was sometimes I could do good. And that's something my wife told me. She's like, because I asked her, I said, why did you stay with me so long? I mean, mm -hmm. and she said, because when you were good, you were good. You oh. were exceptional. You were amazing, wow. you know. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it was just that that yeah. other side of you that would right. overshadow. Like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Oh, Hyde. that yeah. is the little Literally, crane example. Yeah. Because yeah. she'll tell you, I could go from angry to real sweet to, you know, slamming my head through the wall. It was like five, six different personalities, oh, you know, sure. and for the most part, I would try to fight it. You know, I didn't always want to give in, you know, and yeah. uh, she, something that would calm me down, even my mom, she would have, to, as a kid, my mom would have to say, it's your mom. It's, it's your mom. I love you. Come back, yeah. come back, come back. Yeah. And so, and that it, when, when somebody would that's use right. love, it would pull me back, yep, you know, that's right. but yeah. eventually yeah, you heard right. enough people that, that's you so know, good. they, <laughs> come on. You, yeah. you, you heard yeah. enough people and, and they get tired of it too. You know, my yes. mom got tired and it's like, hey, I can't right. help you no more. Like, you're on your own, you know, like, because uh, what ended up happening, she invited me to church. My girlfriend did uh, when I told her I need to come home. And I said, who, who got you going to church? I cussed her out. And she said, your aunt. And I'm like, <laughs> she said, auntie. 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 No, oh, not, auntie. not, not yes. her. Oh, a different aunt. The aunt oh. that had been praying for me. Oh, yes. Wow. From my dad's yes. side Thank of the family. Yes. No, she didn't auntie. know nobody mm -hmm. else to call through. She was so broken and hurt. That's and so hurt. her family was, because the first thing the enemy used me to do was isolate her from right. everybody. You yeah, know, right. And oh, it, it doesn't matter if you're in a bad relationship or you know, you're on this walk by yourself. One of the first things the enemy would do when he's after yeah. you is isolate you from fellowship, from accountability, yeah. from, yes. you know, because it's easier to take you down when you're by yourself. Right. You know? And he could talk right. to you. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes. He, he mm -hmm. wants an offense to, to rise in your right. your heart. Oh, right. she didn't shake your hand. Oh, she didn't. I've seen right. people. I've seen yes. stupid over stupid stuff. I've, yep. I've had a, a buddy of mine that, you know, God delivered him from the streets and all kinds of stuff. And he ended up getting offended because someone didn't say hi to him and he mm. went back and I was like that was a tactic from the enemy yes. you know like you yes. don't even see that so it just yeah. happened right. to me at a homeless shelter a guy cussed me out because I was there loving on him yeah showing him Jesus but he wasn't angry at me they're just angry mm -hmm. at the world and right. they see light and they just want to fight it mm -hmm. right yeah mm -hmm. he's manifesting and so she's like, your aunt got me to go with her and you mm -hmm. need to go because what I felt there, I, I don't want to lose it. Wow. And yeah. so I said, you know what? Okay, I'll go with you. I said, just let me come home. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't planning on getting saved. I wasn't planning on <laughs> giving my life to the Lord. I just, wanted to, yes. I just wanted to shut her up. And yeah. yeah. I wanted to no. come back home, you know, because yeah. I had yep. said before I had become very manipulating, you know, I would tell my mom when they would court order me sometimes to go into mental hospitals well he's got to be there three months mm -hmm. i would tell my mom i'll be out in two weeks and um she's like what and i had actually learned when the doctors were writing stuff i was reading their papers upside down as they were mm -hmm. writing yeah. and i knew what to tell mm -hmm. them so that mm -hmm. i could get released from right. that hospital wow. you know? right um and my mom was like she would get frustrated she's like you're in there to get help not to tell them what they want to hear so you can leave right. you know and so before, you know, I had, with my drinking, because I had got to the point where if I didn't drink, I was shaking. You know, mm -hmm. I would wake up drinking E and J brandy out the bottle, and uh, wow. so I would go to AA, NA, whatever, for a couple weeks. You know, let my girlfriend, you know, stop nagging, and then mm -hmm. I would, hey, it's just one beer, it ain't gonna hurt, and then be full blown there back. You, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so I agreed to go to church with her, and that night. Uh, it was Saturday. It was May 31st um, of 2014. The last thing I remember was I saw a hole opening in the ground and I saw these demons coming for me and we start fighting over the steering wheel. I was supposed to go to church the next morning 
And next thing you know, they said I was doing 100, hit the curb, and when I did, the truck wrapped around the pole oh. and flew, and they had to cut the top off to get me out. I got life wow. flighted, and they started pulling me into the ground, and the last thing I remember was I said, Lord Jesus, please give me one more chance. Don't let him take me. And it's just the word that you said, you know, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will That's be saved. Right. Yes, thank you, that Jesus. Seed was planted. And thank when you. I said that, I saw a man in white come down oh. and he held me like a baby. Oh. And when he held me, they just took off running. And the, the, the light that was on him was so bright, those yes. demons couldn't stand right. to be around it. Oh. And I ended up getting life lighted. And when I got out of the hospital, the only thing I walked away with is my arms all metal from here down. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and I say Thank that's, you, Jesus. that's my hip that's out of place from wrestling with God. <laughs> you know? yeah. uh, ah, that's cute. And um, so wow. when I get out, I'm popping painkillers. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm angry. I'm like, I'm asking God. I'm said, I'm 20 years old and my life's a mess. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm already a felon. I dropped out in ninth grade. I mean, I, I, yeah. a lot of things happened that was out of my control, you know. And I said, all I ever really wanted was, was a father. You know, I'm trying to, even in prison, you know. I remember when I walked into prison, I remember saying a prayer and I said, God, I don't even know if you're with me or if you're hearing me, but I need you to look out Why'd for me. Why'd you go to prison? Uh, selling drugs okay. at 17. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I got sentenced to two years and I did a year, but I had just came home from doing a year in juvenile. So oh, wow. I had only been out three months before I got arrested again. And in those three months I came home and uh, I had to stay with my dad and, you know, that wasn't a good situation. He mm -hmm. ended up uh, cussing out my grandma and I went Ooh, off and, and I, yeah. I beat him down and he was laying in a pile of blood. And I thought whenever we, I did that, that it was going to bring some sort of fulfillment because all that hurt and pain I had as a kid, you know, wanting my mm -hmm. dad, it turned into, screw it, you know, I don't need him, yeah, you know, no. F him, excuse right. my language, yeah, but right. that's, yeah, you know. Right. I was, I held, I, I, it turned to nothing but hatred from him right. for him. And so I thought if I beat him up and do that, that it was going to bring me peace. Right. And when he was laying there on the floor, I was like, I just want you to love me. Mm -hmm. I just want you to hug me, you know, and he wouldn't stop uh, trying to get back up. So I, I was like, I got to leave before this escalates. Yeah. He went in the house and tried to grab a samurai sword. And so I'm walking down the, the street and I remember him screaming. He said, Isaiah. I'm coming for you. I'm going to get you. And, and mm -hmm. at that time, his voice was echoing around the neighborhood. And that everywhere I looked, I could see him there with that sword. And I realized that it wasn't my dad I was dealing with. Mm -hmm. When he was screaming, I'm yeah, coming demons. for you. I'm going to get yeah. you. It was the same demons that had yeah. me, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, because I dealt with a lot of generational stuff, you mm -hmm. know. And um, so I remember when I was in prison and I said that prayer... I said, Lord, I don't even know if you're with me or you hear me, but I need you to watch out for me. I remember looking up and I passed the church and it said, Chapel of the Redeemed. It was in the prison. And it says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you, for I have called you, for you are yeah, mine. Right. Isaiah, yes. you know, chapter, yes. I believe. Praise yes. Jesus. And when I saw that, it was like it sh like shot out into me and I knew God was speaking to me. Redeemed. And That's right. a few months later, uh, Mike Barber Ministries, he oh, used to yeah. be the oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. football yeah. player. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He ended up coming into the prison unit at Clemens and brought some Christian rappers. Wow. And I remember being in that service and they said, when we sing mm -hmm. this, you say freedom. And I'm like, you want to be sing about being free? Like, what? <laughs> but I didn't know he was talking about being free in the mind and free in your soul. Yeah, and, you free, know. Yeah. and so I remember actually going in that chapel and by myself later on and I prayed, I said, I need a father. I need you to be my father. Like, I don't have one. I'm trying the best I can, mm -hmm. and it's not working out. I remember mm -hmm. saying that prayer to, to God, you know, and tears fell like yes. molten lava because yeah. I didn't cry. I was not an affectionate person. Don't touch me. Don't right. show me any love. Like, I'd get angry if you tried to do something nice for me. Wow, I'd lock right. up. And so when I got out of prison, that's when everything i started having women come out of nowhere drugs being handed free it was like oh, sure. i threw the the bible i was like oh back to what i was doing you know and then wow. that's Jesus. when i ended up with my girlfriend and because i'm telling you like the devil he doesn't come as an angel uh i mean as uh uh the devil as right. a monster he comes as an angel of light right. Right. Yes. He, he disguises himself he 
he's not uh, omniscient and omnipresent. He doesn't know everything, but yeah. he does know some stuff. You know, if right. he, mm -hmm. and you got to realize how charming is he if he was able to take one third of the angels with yes. him. Right. They were in the That's presence right. of God, really. and he convinced them to rebel. Yes. You That's know? right. And mm -hmm. yeah. so he, he he knows what you like. He's not going to offer you know me. Uh, a Twinkie if that's not my right. addiction. Mm -hmm. He's going to, mm -hmm. you know, offer you what is suited to you. Mm -hmm. You know, I always tell people when I'm talking to them on the street or friends of mine, I said, close your eyes and picture your dream girl, you know, and what mm -hmm. society would say. I was like, you got to be careful because that's how the enemy will come to entice mm -hmm. you, you know, that's good. And, uh, and, that's uh, really good. and vice versa, you know, and so that's when we ended up together and I almost ended up killing her and then I had that encounter where they were pulling me in the ground and I get life flighted and get out of the hospital and my girlfriend's trying to get me to go back to church and I'm angry, mad and I say, you know what, let's go, whatever, you won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing shorts and a chanclas and a short t shirt <laughs> and I'm I'm covered in tattoos, you know, all that. And That's it was at Calvary Jesus Chapel. Like, yep. Uh, Assemblies of God off oh, of Beltway wow. 8 in Green Shadow in Pasadena, mm -hmm. Texas. I'm in the, the uh, back seat and they're preaching and I'm getting mad and I'm like, I can't be in here. And they're like, what's wrong with you? I said, I'm getting very angry. I'm going to hurt somebody. And oh, I went God. to get up mm -hmm. and this was about 150, 200 people, you know, and I would say about middle class, you know, I'm, <laughs> I come from the opposite side. Like, mm -hmm. oh, this is new to me. I mean, uh, I'm telling you, I'm constantly amazed at where God does in my life. And mm -hmm. it's places that are like normal to some people, like eating at a, a steakhouse. To me, it was like I was eating in the king's palace. That's And God mm -hmm. does that to me all the time. And it mm -hmm. makes me out of my comfort zone. Even this is out of my comfort zone. <laughs> you know, when this popped Worship up. Like <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, well, just a backstory. <laughs> you know, when this popped up and Kavika asked me, you know, he's like, hey, I was supposed to go. I said, I need to pray first because I don't do anything without God giving me the green light because this isn't about me. I don't want people to see me because I yeah. fell into that trap of performance and, you know, yeah. trying to uh, basically be something and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. God had to put, stop it, you know. And so uh, when I prayed, I said, God, I don't want to chase anything. He said, did you go looking for this opportunity? I said, <laughs> he did. I said, no, sir. He said, I brought this to you. Yes. And, and I just really feel that even now that there's even ministers that are watching, whoa. And I'm reminded of when David, oh, shoot. When he was serving, he was the one overlooked. He was taking care of the sheep. And do you know when it came time to battle Goliath, he wasn't even supposed to be on the battlefield. His mm -hmm. father said, go and take food to your brothers. Go and, yeah. and, and, and yeah. take, take serve mm -hmm. the real minister, serve the real men yeah. of God, the ones on the flyers, right? Yes. You know, because yes. it seems like <laughs> that's what everybody is after yes. nowadays. Yeah. And then when he gets there, everybody's cowering. No one is able to, to overcome this giant, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. he had been in preparation. And, and yeah. so he unknowingly in servanthood walked into his destiny and a fulfillment Ooh, of his calling yeah, to the Lord. And that's what the Lord was showing me. Even mm. this, you mm. know, before I came on here, uh, my pastor had brought me and my wife up and prayed over our family. And he said, you're fixing to be all over the world. And I was like, he just said that last Sunday. He said, you're about to be seen all over the world. And I'm like, <laughs> I knew you. and then next well, thing you know, I'm on God's view yeah. and he's broadcasting all over the world. Wow. And so wow. uh, I did not plan on this at all. <laughs> but what does uh, the book of John say in chapter three? It says, as the wind blows, yes. and it comes and goes. No one knows, but that is like yeah. the spirit, you know, and me and Kavika had been uh, connected for like two years now. We're just now got the green light to even come to Colorado wow. to be able to minister. So it's, yeah. you know, really being in that place of waiting and serving the Lord. Mm -hmm, yeah. And, you mm -hmm. know, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when God opens doors, you know, and, and anytime he opens up like this, it usually I always, it's, he always shifts things at the last minute and brings mm -hmm. us a guest that he wants. And mm -hmm. so I never fretted. I mean, it yeah. can happen a day before, like I did with you a couple of days before. Yeah. And uh, and I say, yeah, the, this this guy, yes. And Kavika says, why don't you pray about it? I said, I don't have to pray about it. Tell him to come. Yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, I, I just, you know, yeah. I, I knew it. You knew. But, you yeah. know, because uh, I, I don't have time to pray for everything for 100 days. You know, I yeah. need to know and move and do with the Spirit. And you were yeah. the one that was supposed to come on. Yeah. And plus, uh, God knows, I'm a 
sucker for testimonies. <laughs> I mean, you know, because mm -hmm. it's by the blood of the Lamb and the yeah. word of our testimony yeah. that yes. people are really right. set free. Yeah. It's it's a big deal. People can listen to a testimony and they can relate to it, like when you went to the, um, you know, just a, a lot yeah, of things. When you were shelter. talking about the homeless shelter and, mm -hmm. and you know, we can we can relate to something that we've went yeah. through, yeah. and then they can they can relate to you because a lot of them are sitting out there because I can tell you with all the people we reach, there's a bunch of people out there saying, oh my gosh, if, if he got set free, I can get yeah. set free. Come on, mm -hmm. yeah, and that's all the testimony is. It yes, yeah. means to yes. do it again, Lord, that's yeah. right. testify. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and just. To, so you got saved at the church? Yeah, so you saved. Let's ended do up it. what yeah. happening. Did you get saved? <laughs> no, obviously. This was in Pasadena, here. Yeah. Texas. Oh, oh so Calvary. I'm getting mad and I went to leave because I knew I was fixing to hurt somebody there. And because when I felt that rage, it, I'm fixing to hit somebody or flip something. Mm -hmm. And so my aunt, mm -hmm. the same one that been trying to get me, <laughs> she said, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going. And she started it's praying in tongues. Right. And when she started praying in tongues, I like, get right. off of him. He's mine. And I want to hit her. Yeah. And I ended yep. up, when I tried to hit her, I fell down and I started growling and screaming. Yep. And it literally felt like a hand was holding me down. And right. now that voice, instead of saying, wow. get out, is saying, kill, kill, kill. And I can't. I'm wanting to kill somebody. And the pastor, he's like, what's going on? And they're like, he's having a deliverance. They stopped in the middle of the Sunday service. Wow. Boy, he's getting yeah. delivered. He comes yes. down, and my head's bowed, and I felt him come down. I said, stay away from him. Like, it jerked yeah. me up. I could feel what was in him. That's and it's right. like, who are you? And he said, you got a child of God right there. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out That's of him, right. Satan. And I'm growling and screaming. He said it again. In the name of Jesus, come out of him. And at that moment, all this hatred and anger and bitterness mm -hmm. and rage and condemnation and shame and guilt, I mean, the addiction, the, the whole, whole nine yards, nine was, nine yards was broke. Yeah. And I, I heard That's John 14, 12. Mm -hmm. I, I literally heard that right after I got set free. He said, very truly, he who believes in me can do the same things I've done and even greater. Even greater. Oh, and then I so felt scales good. had fell off of my eyes. And I started feeling this warm, gooey feeling. And I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> and, and I was like, I want to hug people. Jesus. And I want people hey, to hug me. Jesus. And they said, that's Jesus. love. Yes. I said, I've that's never love. felt this. That's yeah, that's never right. felt this. And he said, that's because you never knew God and God's wow. love. God's that's love. That's right. And so for the oh, next God. six months, all I did was read the Bible every day. Pray yeah. fast, read, pray fast, read. Because I wanted to know about this man who set me free yes and then once i Ooh, found out amazing. about him i wanted everybody to know about him and so i came home and the next day i'm casting demons out of my girlfriend <laughs> you know <laughs> and it's, i've been running like that since the day i got saved wow. it's been over seven years now and i i've seen god move in so many mighty ways it, it was like such a night and day transformation my mom's yeah. wow. my mom's saved mom's now so. we Thank have you, such Jesus. an amazing relationship she i didn't have to preach to her she said whoever changed you has to be powerful <laughs> oh. i know who you were <laughs> and, and it was yes. whoa <laughs> i even good. feel that there's someone Ooh, on glory. here that is yeah. is believing for the salvation of the family members that mm. is, is believing mm -hmm. for God to move in your family. Mm -hmm. And do you know, it wasn't me preaching mm -hmm. to her. It wasn't me shoving the Bible down her throat. It actually took about three years of her watching me and yeah, seeing. And amazing. God would purposely put me in situations that would cause the old me to uh, react a certain way. And she would watch and I would not react how I used to react. Amen. And she knew there was a notable change that yes. had took yes. place. Because 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Any, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creature. Yeah. You know, the yeah. old is dead and gone. Yeah. And it, it, when you have an encounter with the Lord, you can't stay the same. You know how the women knew uh, that Peter was with Jesus when they were uh, mm -hmm. the slave girls and all that. When they said, you were one of them. And when he denied the, yes. the Lord, he said, no, it wasn't me. He said, I know you were there. Yeah. I can tell by the way you talk. Yeah. Because even the way you talk changes. Even mm -hmm. it, I couldn't even speak in proper English when I came to the Lord. I talked like this, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Oh, I, I, I yeah. talked in a bunch of <laughs> slang, and yeah. my speech began to change. I cussed wow. like a sailor, wow. and wow. that began to change. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I smoked a pack a day. That All these it things begin yes. to change, wow. you know. And I've been walking with the Lord for seven years now. I've got to go to uh, Honduras. Yes. I've got to go to the Philippines. I've, I've seen, we've done massive crusades before, uh, you know, <clears throat> with some mentors of mine. And I've seen so many people come to the Lord. And all I do is share what God's done yes. for me. Yes, that's right. 
what he can do. And what he can do. I just feel that Ooh, God is glory. wanting to set people free today. Yes. This, whoa. I just hear that. Thank this you, is a, yes. a deliverance yes. message. This yes. is, I feel yes. the anointing, yes. the breaker anointing. Yes. Even on the way yes. here, Thank I, you, I started having just this fatigue just come upon me and I started mm -hmm. getting drained. Yeah. And my wife, she said, I, I am too. And, and he said, you, and she said, I was getting drained too. I said, we were fine until yeah. we started getting here. And the Lord said, it's the spirit of fatigue, yeah. of oppression that is trying to weigh down. Yes. And, and he said, I want you to deal with it. And then yes. when that started happening, yes. I started, my, my right knee started hurting really bad. And one of my gifts is that I'm, I feel people's pain. So yeah. he said, I also want you to pray over yes. knee and cartilage. So, so can we, do you want to do a third show? Because we, uh, we have, we have yeah. about uh, 45 seconds. Well, it's going down too. Mm -hmm. And you can't do much in 30 seconds, but if you'd like, we could do a third show and, or you could just stay around. And we could do a third one and go into just prayer and, and prophesying and yeah. preaching well, the word. Or we could just do our ministry show yeah. next and, yeah. and uh, he can join us with yeah. that. He can join us with that. <laughs> listen, if you don't know the Lord, I mean, listen, this, this was powerful. Yes. Uh, two programs, you got you got to, you know, tell your friends, you got to listen to number one and number two. Yes. So glad his phone was working for Facebook. I've mm -hmm. totally been kicked off, so who knows uh, when I'll be back on Facebook. But listen, Jesus. You heard the power of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the only way, truth, and life. He'll set anybody free at the name of Jesus. All demons flee. And you know what? And that you, you, when you, when you receive Jesus into your life, and anybody who calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved. Listen, it ain't maybe kind of sorta. And you know, he came well. Look at he wanted Isaiah in his mess. That proves to you how much he loves you, how much he's chasing you, how he's hard after you with the Holy right. Spirit hovering that's over right. you trying to tell you he <clears throat> loves you mm -hmm. because that's the thing that the world needs now is love sweet yes. love you know the song mm -hmm. that's the most thing that there's the little of you know mm -hmm. we don't yes. need another mountain to heal but we need love yes. and and you need love and Jesus is love. He is. And you you don't even have to do it exactly how the Bible says. You fall on your knees and say, Jesus, if you're real, what they're saying, I need you. And I need yeah. you to change me like you changed mm -hmm. Isaiah. And if you did that, call 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. And man, we will walk you through some things. Get baptized with the Holy Spirit with fire. Just ask yes. him. That's all you got to do. You got to say, baptize me with the Holy Spirit and fire. I'll tell you, you'll never be the same. Then go to our website. Get some product today because what this does, if you get anything off that website, it helps us keep coming into your house mm -hmm. and around the world with the gospel of Jesus yes. Christ. And then become a partner today. Please, we need you. Seriously. We don't get paid. You, you, everybody thinks everybody's on TV gets millions of dollars and all this stuff. You know, we've got, we want to take more territory. And we want to help more people and help more poor and help more ministries. And we only do that with the amounts that people can give and go on more networks. So please do that. You get the same reward in heaven as we do. Okay, if you send us. We love you. It's only goodbye for today. you got to remember this. God loves you. Loves you. Loves you. He's a God of love. He's a good God. It's the goodness of God that brings those to repentance. Remember, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God.